the last thing we just did was we drew the two-point perspective cube. And now I want to give you some tips for how to see that and how to make sure that when you're drawing these either freehand or with a ruler, either with um, theoretical perspective or just using my shortcut that I gave you in another video, um, I want to make sure that you know what to look for so that you can tell whether or not your two-point perspective cube is looking correct. So I'm going to give you my best tips next. Let's look on the page. So here we've got two-point perspective. We started off with this line in the front and we connected the top and the bottom corners to one vanishing point and to another vanishing point. Then we put in our vertical lines and we connected those to the opposite vanishing points. And then we finish it off with our last vertical line, and that's in the back. So we've got four vertical lines that are all connected to both vanishing points. The first tip that I want to give you when you're thinking about perspective is that as things move back in space, they appear smaller. If any of you were Sesame Street watchers, you might remember a little skit where Grover ran up to the camera and he said near, and then he ran back from the camera and he said far. And when he got really close to the camera, he was really big. And when he got far away from the camera, you could see his whole body. <clears throat> the same is going to be true here. In our cube, you can tell that when you look at this plane of the cube, it's larger than the back plane of the cube. So this front plane of the cube is also larger than this back plane of the cube. So anything that's closer to you <laughs> will look larger. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and anything that's farther away from you will appear smaller. It's not actually physically getting smaller. It's not shrinking. It just looks smaller. Tip number two is that your lines that move back in space will appear to converge to two vanishing points. That's why it's called two-point perspective. With one point perspective, we only have one vanishing point. Here we've got two. So all of my lines that are moving back in space are converging to both vanishing points. Tip number three is that your vertical lines must be parallel. This line, this line, and you can tell this one's a little bit off. I drew it a little bit crooked. If I were to fix that, it would look probably a little bit more like this. And you can see that I would actually have to erase that first line and then correct over it in order to get that line looking nice and vertical. <coughs> and then this line should also be parallel. So all four of my vertical lines need to be parallel to each other. You might remember that in tips for one point perspective, I said that our vertical lines must be parallel to each other and our horizontal lines must be parallel to each other. What happens in two point perspective is all of the planes are moving back in space and you no longer have any horizontal lines. So the things that we know to be horizontal on the plane are actually diagonal on the page. These are all diagonal lines, these are all diagonal lines, and these are all diagonal lines. So only your vertical lines must be parallel. And this leads us to tip number four. In one point perspective, I said that you will use <coughs> vertical lines, diagonal lines, and horizontal lines. In two point perspective, you're only going to be using diagonal lines and vertical lines. You no longer have any horizontal lines. So hopefully if you follow those tips, that's going to help you to make you uh, make a better looking cube and you're going to be able to draw cubes better both freehand and when you're using uh, vanishing points and a horizon line. So hopefully that will help you out. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.